going to show you how I use my uh, canvas block um, to make the measurements and well not the measurements but the guidelines for my cap um, so I can you know create their wig and stuff so I'm just showing you the canvas head and it's blocked off it has five measurements well technically just four um, the first measurement that you would need well you need like five to six measurements <clears throat> But I'm going to just show you five because I'm just doing a closure and I'm not doing a frontal. So just five measurements. The first one you want to start is your circumference. So when someone places an order on my website or when I create an invoice for them, um, they have the option to tell me their um, head circumference. But um, and they get to choose 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You know, small, medium, large, and then extra large. That's on my website. But if I create an invoice for you and you do not tell me your um, head circumference, I automatically just use a 22 circumference. And I do the measurements based on the average 22 head size. However, since 22 is, you know, the average, that's what I'm going to be using today. And I'm going to show you um, the measurements and stuff. So you will need the front to nape which is from here and it goes all the way back to here. For a 22 um, head circumference front to nape, it's usually a 14, which it'll stop right about here. And I'm just gonna mark that real quick. And then um, you will also need your ear to ear. And ear to ear is from here to here, so. On this side and it goes all the way to here this is typically where the frontal will lay and ear to ear is basically like 11.5 so if I do 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 point five and it'll be right there and then we're gonna do temple to temple which is like a 14.5 and I use these two lines right here as my guide for the temple. Hopefully y'all can see it. One, two, yeah. But I use these two lines that's already on the canvas block head. And I use them as my guide. And it's going to be a 14.5. So we're going to start, let's see, we're going to do, because I think I did an average of these two. So. We're just going to start over here where it's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then point five. It'll typically be right here, but since I had to measure it off, we're going to kind of like balance it out since this one is like all the way up here, and then this one is all the way back here. We're going to kind of shift it back. So if I'm right here, and this one is right here, really, if I shift this one back one, this one goes up one, and it'll be like this. This side and this side. So these two are my temple to temple, 36 and 22. So right here and right there is my temple to temple and then we're gonna also do the nape to neck which is this one back here and usually it is a 5.5 5. so let's see one two three four five I'm gonna do half right here so we're gonna do it'll be like we're gonna just do this right here. I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna do the half mark right there and it'll be right there. And just like that. So that's how I use it. Now I'm just gonna put this um, cap on. And these are the dome caps. I, use a, I either use the mesh um, cap or I use the dome cap either one is 
okay it's just they didn't have the mesh ones in stock so i had to go ahead and get a dome cap they work just fine it's just one's mesh and one's the other side so really doesn't matter but i'm just gonna put this on and right where i draw those little lines that is where i'm going to place my um cap so starting right about here That is the neck to neck. We did that one. And then the ear to ear one or the temple to temple is about right here. point I'm just gonna put that right there all right so now it's a little baggy and what I'm going to do is t-pins so I can pin it down and it's not so baggy it's a tight fit so just give me one second we're just gonna pin it down So now we're going to sew down the cap. I'm going to sew that cap down. I don't know what that is. But we're going to sew it down. And it doesn't have to be extra neat. I mean, you're going to sew on top of it anyways, but, you know, this is just how I sew, so I sew like this every time, no matter the situation. Now, since this is a closure, I um, pull the extra cap. I pull it back because, um, you know, that's going to be covered by tracks. But if I were to do a frontal, I will pull the cap forward because and do it towards the frontal part because that part is going to get cut off anyways. So it's really, you know, not that big of a deal. So if you're doing a closure and you have excess cap, um you can pull it back because you know it's just going to hide it but if you're doing a frontal you can pull the excess cap forward because that part is going to get cut off but i mean if you want you can pull it either way it is your choice because when creating wigs it is all up to you and your clients so do whatever floats your boat this is just what works 
for me and what I do. You don't have to do the exact same thing. Just do whatever works for you. I'm just telling you what works for me. And that works for me. So I got that side. And it is flat. Now I just go to the other side and I just throw that part down. And another thing that I like about the mesh caps is you can actually see the lines, but with the dome cap, you can't really see. So you just got to, you know, just do the standard um, lines or you could just do your finger towards the back. Um, do like your thumb for every, you know, one. And then when you get close to about, I would say like right about here, start to use your um, index finger. For a few of them and then use your pinky because when you get close towards the closure part you want to make sure that your checks are really close together and they're not really um they're not spaced out and you know just flows together so i'm gonna do my um thumb you know what i'm about to do Okay, and also I make sure that I start using my thumb right above my wig tag. So that will be my first line. I don't sew on top of my wig tag because I want to get comb or if they want to get combs added or you know just so it just don't get so caught up in the sewing machine. So that's why I start above my wig tag. But I'm gonna do another one. Try to make sure it's straight. If it's not straight, then it's okay. These are just guidelines. Like, it's just a guide for you. Also, around the fourth line is where the first, uh, or you'll be done with the first bundle anyways. So, I kind of measured out like that. So, the first four lines is like the first four tracks and that's one bundle also um make sure that all the ones you use with your thumb they are double um they're double tracked or double webbed however you want to say it make sure those are double and also when you start to use your index finger um those ones are double as well when you get up closer to the closure part that's when you're going to start um single tracking it So like three and then you can draw three with your um, index finger and then with your pinky then you can draw a few more because you want these up here to be really close and then since you're going to be single tracking the ones at the top oh you can't even see I'm so sorry y'all and since you're going to be um, single tracking the ones at the top so the ones you're single tracking you kind of want them to be kind of close okay and then this is about where the the closure will be so that's a 
about right here. So this is a four by four closure. I do closure leaves all the time, so I kind of have like a guide for them. But as you see, you see how they're bigger back here, and then they kind of go to the medium size, and then they get a little smaller up top. So now I'm about to just draw the lines on the side. it leaves a little bit of space and that's where I sew the um the last track like really close to it here I'll just go ahead and dry it on here just to show you because on the sewing machine when you sew that last track on is going to and you do the zigzag stitch it's going to catch that closure and the last track and kind of bring them together so that's what i tend to do so it'll look like this these are your guidelines i need to make these darker this way But yeah, these are your lines. I do your thumb. And then you switch to the index finger. Index finger, index finger, index finger. Oops, no. Sorry, y'all. Index finger, index finger, index finger. Pinky, pinky, pinky. So you do one, two, three three of the pinkies, one, two, three of the index finger, and then one, two, three, four, five of. It's really six with your thumb instead of five. Like my sister started calling, I got sidetracked, but um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video helped you guys in some type of way. You know, if it did, make sure you comment below, make sure you, um, you know, share with your friend, your family, whatever, any wig maker out there who may need this, make sure you share it with them, let them know. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.